Joe and Petra, thanks for coming and talking to us today. Joe, you're the president of the European Educational Research Association. And Petra, your role, your official role is? Uh, I'm the incoming network representative on Euro Council. I'm representing all networks. OK. Joe, perhaps you can start. Can you tell us something about the famous ERA mission statement? Well, the ERA mission statement says that the purpose of ERA is to engage in research for the benefit of society which in itself is quite a simple summation of a very complex idea um, because it gives us the challenge to think about what we do as researchers, how we do research, what educational research is and the modes and the processes and the ways of thinking about it and then it challenges to think about how can this be used for the benefit of the wider society, both the societies that we live and work in, because a lot of educational research is very contextual, it comes from a very specific place, but also this wider sense of European society, and maybe even global society, how exactly do we benefit those around us in a social context. Okay, and then Petra, how does the networks fit into, the, uh, into this? Oh, perfectly. I mean, the networks are some points where the real researchers come together focused on, on their specific topics, and we have 33 networks, a broad range of, of topics you can have there. But in each network, the, the main idea of the era is, is taken on in it from a different perspective and, and bringing all that together. So there is no main structure it just has really evolved from problems of the practice. Yeah, you're saying that the networks are taking from there, but how do the networks contribute to that mission? Well, mainly through their research, being, being uh, aware of the mission. I think not every researcher that comes to a conference has an idea of, of, the, of the mission of an organization. But coming here to the conference makes pretty clear, because the culture of the whole uh, uh, era and the ESA as well is contributing to that. So that makes, raises a kind of awareness that we are not doing research just for our research pur purpose but really for the benefit of society. And I suppose we have to talk about the ECER conference, don't we? I mean, what's the meaning of the conference for ERA? The conference is the central activity of our year. I mean, we're a very diverse organisation. We have 42 associations from 37 countries in Europe. Um, and we, we have approximately 20,000 members associated with those associations. And this is the chance to bring a proportion of those people together, to meet together, to work together, to share ideas, to create ideas, and to reinforce this concept of a community of researchers. Because to pick up on Petra's point of a second ago, I, I think firmly ERA does not believe that research is an individual activity. Research is a collective activity. Yeah. But to do it collectively, you need to create the relationships, you need to create the networks, the community, to allow you develop that sense of what it means to do stuff collectively. And that's the ESER gives us that chance. It brings us together, creates and reinforces the sense of community that we have as researchers. Mm -hmm. And I've been talking to a lot of the network conveners and there's one question that they always smile at and say that's a good question. So I'm going to ask you to that. What do you like about the conference, Joe? I just like bringing people together. I like meeting people. Um, I like the sense that era, which can be an abstract idea because of the way we're organised, because we're an association of associations, suddenly becomes a real idea. You see people walking around identifying with ERA, identifying with the concept of being a European educational researcher under the umbrella of this organisation. So that's what I like about it. It really is bringing us together. And Petra, what do you like? I, I can hardly add anything to what Joe says because this is, this is the main pleasure of, of bringing the people together, mingling them and, and even uh, stepping aside of, of, uh, of your own idea and meeting people from other networks as well because usually we just read the stuff and here we come together and another benefit really is we have an opportunity to connect with the local community as well because uh, the conference is traveling all through Europe and that's, that's a great opportunity. Well, 
I hope you enjoy the conference and thank you very much for talking to me this morning. Thank, thank you. you.